it's takeaway night it's friday which means a classic tea for a friday night now i didn't do a what will the wheel decide today because i've been to apple jack's farm with my nieces and nephew so i've been out all day so i wouldn't have had a chance to go to a supermarket so i looked at all the comments from the last video and i asked for recommendations on what you have on a friday night and a chippy tea just sounded perfect for tonight why are we coming up with excuses becky why do you even have to if you guys don't know like last week she did a little like spin the wheel thing and she had a, like four things listed and the wheel would go to whatever she wanted to go to and then she would buy that i don't know whatever dude it seems like she's on a trend right now of trying to make it seem like whatever she eats is not her fault because she's basically saying it's either rng like it's either a random gamble or whatever you guys want to eat and for some reason i guess the cope is so hard that she has to come up with a well i wouldn't have been able to get food anyway because i was out for 45 minutes today so don't have any time don't have any time to actually find food couldn't go to the supermarket but we all know that's we know that's bullshit right becky we know that's bullshit you had no time throughout the entire day to get anything from the supermarket at all you had to just get the chippy tea huh just say you wanted the chippy tea it's all right it's okay to say that you was trying to get some chippy tea. It's okay to say that you were trying to get some good food in your mouth. And by the way, uh, was everybody saying chippy tea? Or did you just find one person in the comment section that said, on Fridays, I get chippy tea. And I also want to know, was it an alt account? I would love to know. By the way, yes, before anybody points it out, I do have star patches on my face. Two pimples right next to each other. So I'm taking care of myself. Don't, okay, please don't make fun of me. Go ahead, make fun of me. So let's go and dish out my chippy tea. So my order is here. Let me show you what I got. I think I kind of went a little bit different as well on it tonight. It's never different. It's always the same shit. And even when it's different, it's always the same. Becky is notorious for always eating the same thing almost every single Friday. I don't know why I know so much about the lore of Becky at this point, but the chippy tea is a default. And you know what? I would go as far as to say that 80% of everything that she eats has to have some sort of french fry in it. I don't know why the people in the UK are so sought on getting french fries on everything. Or maybe it's just Becky. Somebody can let me know. Maybe in the UK it's not like that. But Becky is like, when I think of a person from the UK at this point, I think of either Mr. Bean or Becky. So I don't know what Mr. Bean eats. But I know what Becky eats. And Becky eats a lot of chippy tea. And uh, you know what, dude? Like, like I said earlier, I would just really prefer if she just told us straight out that she was just trying to body slam some chippy tea. That's fine for me, dude. I, don't, I really do not care. If Becky wants to eat, like, straight-up garbage for the rest of her life, I have no problem with that. I just wish that she would just say that right away instead of going, like, No, guys, I want to lose weight. I want to lose weight. Seriously, yes, of course, I want to lose weight. No, you don't. No, you don't. What you want to do is... No, actually, I think she probably does want to lose weight, but the reality of it is uh, it would take too much work for her to do that, so chippy tea is always going to be on the menu. Also, it's gone a little bit cold now. Excuse the glasses. I haven't sorted myself out you could just take them off right you know that right like it's just a uh, and put them down excuse the glasses they are going to stay on my head that sound <laughs> i don't know why you would even bring that up if you weren't willing to take them off but yeah i had such a fun day today we went to apple jack's farm the kids love it there i let them choose where they wanted to go and they said greasy as hell dude that's why they'd be rapping these shit so goddamn heavily dude that shit is greased up back to apple jack's damn so we went um anyway i have got BBC fish, I'm guessing. Is that a fish? It's sausage. Oh, sausage. My bad. Oh, yeah. So, I guess just straight up BBC at that point. Oh, Greasy as fuck, too. And instead Damn of putting ribs today, I got the barbecue chicken wings. Just to see what these are like. What has everybody else got today? And keep leaving your suggestions oh, as well. Oh, my God. Becky's portion size has got to chill back, man. I don't think that she actually has real plates and real real bowls. I think she has, like, the serving dishes, the ones you have out when, like, multiple family members are there. And it's, like, in the middle of the table. And you go in for, like, a spoonful and you put it on your actual size of plate. Becky seems like she just uses those for everyday usage. And I don't think she realizes that that's not supposed to be the plate that you use to eat. It's the same thing with those ginormous spoons. I don't think she understands either... Those spoons are meant for dishing things out. They're not meant to put in your mouth, which is why whenever you see her put the spoons or whatever into her mouth, she struggles to get into her mouth because they're so goddamn massive. They're not supposed to go in your mouth, Becky. They're supposed to dish stuff out and put on plates, okay? So whenever I see this girl eating all this food, I mean, you're, you're seeing like the corner of this plate, right? This is a massive plate. 
two BBC sausage, two BBC deep fried sausages already on this plate. Those things were already massive, right? At least eight inches. BBCs are eight inches or above. So she got two of them things right there, the sausage, and she's got these chicken wings. When does it stop, Becky? When does it stop? Okay? You were gonna get the you were gonna get the you were gonna get the bariatric surgery, but then you were like, damn, bro, I don't think I'm gonna get that anymore because I think my diet is gonna be fundamentally backwatered at the end of that, which is true. You're gonna have to be on a liquid diet for like six weeks after that. You know Becky ain't gonna do that shit. She need her chippy teas every single day. So it's just crazy to me how like she went from literally two weeks ago, three weeks ago saying, I'm gonna get this weight loss surgery, and she was really sure about it, to completely reverting back to her hogwash, disgusting diet. And by the way, Becky, working out once a week for 45 minutes is not doing anything for your health, okay? I know you think it's doing well for you, but you immediately body slam like 40,000 calories right after that shit. And then also, coming up with excuses that you, oh, I couldn't go out and I couldn't get, I couldn't go to the supermarket because I was busy all day. What are you talking about? Could you not go the day before? Could you not go the day before that? Was there no time in any of those? Don't you just like sit at home all day and just eat food already? Why does it matter? You know you're lying. Oh, these look scrumptious. Not really. They look a little bit moist, man. They kind of look like one solid thing. Put some of these on. Some. Let's see how much some is. By and the way, she's probably going to be body slamming that whole thing. Got some chips. Fries. You've got to love chippy chips as well. So, so good. I don't got to do He's a goddamn amazing. thing. Good Lord, they be packing them things. She got to have it. She got to have it with every single meal. Wait there, guys. I'm so sorry. Just dish out the whole thing. Damn. Mm -mm -mm. The one that got away. The one that we all thought was going to survive. Nah, the one that would try to hide off in the in the bag of, of all the paper. Didn't make it. Didn't make it. Damn, bro. What, you getting the residue from the bag too, bro? Wasn't that enough? Why do you need the rest? True, because I never knew that you could actually just buy, like, scraps from the chippy, which, like... They're like little ends of chips. Why would you want to buy them when you can get the... That'd be like buying the shells of the crab instead of just the meat. Like, sure, you can buy them, and I'm sure they're fine too, but why would you want to buy them? You would think they would just throw them to you for free. I knew that. Yes. How much more is there, Becky? Good Lord, Becky! That's a lot! Oh my God! That's a lot, Becky! Play. Yeah, you did the one that was on the on the table too, you couldn't let him live? We have some fried rice. Greasy. Oh, Why is it always rice. fried rice? Delicious. And of course, some curry sauce. Sorry, Ooh. and then I'll show you a curry If you sauce. thought it wasn't enough calories before, what's the point of getting chippy tea if you're just gonna like hydrate it with the curry sauce? Chippy tea is what? That's like really really crunchy like deep fried like the real crunchy stuff right why do i always see becky contaminating the crunchy chippy teas with so much watery substances dude um can somebody let me know real quick how many calories a whole container of curry sauce is somebody please let me know let's let's see what this abomination looks like becky i'm interested <sighs> all right well at least it wasn't the two bbc sausages but i did see her pull out two so I wouldn't be surprised if she saved Nafa later. Good lord, Becky. You gotta calm down with these plates. These plates are way too goddamn big. She do this shit way too frequently, too, bro. Eating this shit out every single day? Is the close-up. Oh, it looks so stunning. Let's go and tuck in. This is not what I would classify as stunning. Usually, I would classify stunning as, like, a... Maybe like Scarlett Johansson in the first Iron Man movie. Yeah, maybe that. Maybe even Henry Cavill in every everyday life. Let's be honest here. A, a, a plate full of chippy tea and curry and you know BBC sausage. Not so much. It seems like whenever Becky eats anything, it's just Neapolitan, different flavors of brown, and I guess periodically a red. Let's look in. I'm very excited to try one of these wings. I just hope they're not. Huh. Who eats wings vertically? I don't... Becky can't do anything in correctly, dude. I've never seen somebody take a bite. Like, you, the wings are usually the side, right? And at the end, maybe you get the top. But you never see somebody start from the top. I've never seen that before in my life. It's like eating corn the long way. Who does that? Nobody. It's so weird. Mmm. 
You didn't even well, get much. Well, happy Friday to you all. I love you all. What? Love you too. My voice is squeaky. Bye. Hi everyone, so come to the milk house to get the milkshakes that you can get. Just fancied like a nice refreshing milkshake, so let me show you it. I just want to point it out really quickly that Becky has the time to go and get a milkshake, but she doesn't have the time to go to the supermarket and actually get food that she can make food for herself. Which, how, how, how long does it take to make food for yourself? Not long, maybe like at most 30 to 40 minutes depending on what you're making. And I guess maybe if you're taking out the meat or you're taking out the food or whatever you're using, might take a little bit longer than that, but that food can last you all day if you wanted to, right? Uh, but I guess it's a lot easier to make excuses and tell people that you can't cook or you just didn't have time to do that, which we all know is bullshit. Becky literally has all the time in the world to do whatever she wants to do, but she refuses to do that and she comes out with excuses. And, uh, you know, if you just want to eat the food, it's fine. You can go ahead and eat your fast food, but just don't lie to us like we're dumb. Get our bottles first. Uh -oh. Our flavors here. <laughs> Raspberry, white chocolate, cappuccino, bubble gum, chocolate, cream, egg, Irish cream. Okay. Right, okay. Chocolate orange is 43. So 40, 43. Okay. One okay. bottle? So you get the syrup oh, in the bottle and then you get the milk from the milk bottle. Right, okay. I am going to go for. I'm going to go for a white chocolate one, so 32. Trust mine to be sold out. So I'm going to go for cream egg that one's sold out as well right i'm gonna go for now <laughs> just chocolate just chocolate that one's sold out as well so damn 48 Yay. open up this Ooh. 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 why did it drip out like that oh I don't know, like, on a hot summer's day, get, drinking milk? On a hot summer's day? Who would ever think that's refreshing? Milk? The way it's spilled out, too, that noise, that, like... Open up the house. Like, listen to it. Yay, Ugh. finally did it. Got it. It's milk on a hot oh, summer's day. A taste. Taste. Why does she cringe every time that she takes a sip or eats anything at all, dude? It just, I, I just don't, I refuse to, I refuse to believe that she's cringing. I, I think it's just what she does, right? This is just like her thing. But on a hot summer's day, what's some things that you would, in, you would enjoy? Maybe a water, maybe a lemonade, maybe some iced tea, milk, milk? You gonna have the bubble guts for the rest of your life? Oh. Let me do one. I'm gonna get mint chocolate. Got a mint chocolate ice cream. Oh yeah, there's nothing better than having a milk and then ice cream right after that. Cream as well. Mmm. So I didn't get the grimace grimace shake, but I got one of these shakes. And as well, if you ever get midnight Well, why were you even trying to get the grimace shake to begin with, dude? What do you why do you have so much time to get this stuff, but you don't have time to go and get food for yourself at the grocery store? That makes no sense to me, dude. Your priorities are so fucked up. And they're so easy to contradict too. Like all I would have to do is watch maybe four videos from you back to back to back, and then I realize, wait a minute, none of this is consistent. How are you gonna tell me you didn't have time to go to the grocery store, but you had time to search for grimace shakes, but and, and also get milk? and deluxe ice cream from the milk factory. What the fuck? Midnight munchies for a milkshake. You can just come because they're open 24 seven. Who the fuck is going to the, who, midnight? Who's going to this place at midnight, bro? There's a 30% chance you're gonna get robbed or stabbed and you're going out to get milk? To get milk, bro? At midnight? You, your stomach is guaranteed to be bubbled after that. I love that. I got my nephews these to take back vanilla and bubblegum one. Hi everyone! How I... Whenever I see Becky do this face at the beginning of her What Are Eating A Day videos, it's always... It always looks kinda... Not real to me, right? Do you guys see what I'm talking about? Like, her face doesn't look real. I don't see any pores. It looks like a mask. It looks like a mask that somebody didn't put on properly. You know what I'm talking about? Like one of those masks that the FBI agents will wear. Um, like those really good ones almost, but they forgot to blend it properly. It looks like that. It looks like that. Um, but if you got milk for your for your little cousin or whoever, 
I hope you had something to refrigerate it. I don't think that – am I wrong? Maybe it's different in the UK, but milk goes bad pretty quickly, right? Especially if you're just leaving in a hot car all day. I got my nephews these to take back vanilla and bubblegum one. Hi, everyone, and welcome to my what are you in a day. So for my breakfast before I went on my walk, I had a banana, and then I'd done a 50-minute walk which was so amazing I, have I think the filter that she's using is also like sl not not only it's slimming down her face but it's also for some reason it gets rid of the pores around her eyes and then also down the corners of her cheeks as well i don't know because I, I i recently i looked at some of her older videos right and i see i've deduced that she had a lot of wrinkles around the eyes and she had a lot of pores around the eyes and obviously you, that shit doesn't go away as you get older. It only progressively gets worse and worse. So I would have to deduce that this is a filter. I would have to. There's no other way to say it than th this has to be a filter. And you know what? I know there are some people out there that, that they go, David, why do you always point out that she has filters? Like, let the girl use a filter. Fine. She can totally use a filter. My issue is she says she doesn't use a filter. So if you're sitting here and you're telling me you don't use filters and it's so easy to see that you are using filters... I have a problem with that. Why are you so why are you so insecure about it then? If that's the case, just own up to it. Just be like, yeah, I'm using filters. And by the way, anytime you see her in the wild, anytime you ever see her on somebody else's show or, or at somebody else's video or anything like that, she looks completely different. Her face is like 40% heavier. And you know what, dude? That's fine. I don't care, like I said, but she it's not consistent. I don't know if she has to pay the person that she's on the show with or whoever. When she goes on that cruise with Corey's world, bro. I don't know if Corey's going to have to invest in whatever app that she's using to have like the five or six stackable filters all at the same time, but uh, they're going to have to. Otherwise, Becky's going to be looking completely different. I have plenty of water on this. Kids bucket. Then I was out, so I went and got a KFC kids bucket where I got some chips and you just get like one mini chicken fillet. I love the chicken. Her face looks really round here. What the fuck? I don't think that filter is working properly here. I don't think it is. What? She looks really crazy here, bro. I don't know, man. I don't know. There's something about this, bro. You can feel it's from KFC. It's very rare that I have KFC. But it is honestly so tasty Some when you haven't back had shit. it. You pulled up to KFC and got the kids bucket? That's big as hell. For a while, and the chips are well. Hands orange as fuck. <laughs> improved. Let me know. Like she's been you like she's been washing her hands with barbecue sauce or something. Great. Damn, then... bro, round as hell. Face round as hell right now. And for my tip, kind of looks like uh, it's irritated almost. Like there's no dimension to it. It just kind of feels like like she's been babysitting a beehive or something. Hey, I'd gone to Lidl in the day and I got some ribs. These were barbecue ribs, and oh my gosh, they just fell off the bone. I wonder if she's gonna if she's gonna eat the ribs vertically like she usually and does. And I had half chips and half rice with that. Why you look like that? You don't look anything like you looked earlier. Hold up. Hold up now. Let me smell this up real quick. You don't look anything like you did earlier, bro. Would you get like an extra 30% face? Where did that come from? Am I, am I, am I fuck? Hold up. I feel like I'm being fucked with, dude. I feel like I'm being fucked with. I, I, there's no way. Did she not know that the filter wasn't working the other, like in the other, in the other shot? What? Dude, that's completely night and day different. And then for my tea, okay. I went to Lidl in the day and I got some ribs. These were barbecue so weird. ribs. Oh my gosh, they just fell off the bone. And I had half chips and half rice with them. The rice was Korean barbecue and it was honest. She looks kind of brown here too. It's like so good. She it must have got tanned. It smelled amazing as well. Then after my tea, I had a milk. Gotta get the candy bar, of course. Becky can't live without the candy bars, which is one of the reasons why she's so incredibly obese is that she always has to indulge in random snacks. First slice. You can't go wrong with one of these. Yes, you can, especially if you don't need it already. But I hope that you all had a great day. And I love you all. Love you Have too, a great Becky. Weekend. Love you too. It's national. No, it's not. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Happy Wednesday. At the moment, my favorite thing to have are Weetabix. I don't know to what degree that bowl is big. Usually, I don't, like, you can't really tell in terms of uh, how deep or how big the bowl is until you see something go in it. And then you're like, <clears throat> with a little bit of hot water, 
milk and a dollop of Nutella. It's just my favourite go-to at the minute. But how is everyone? What is that? Okay. Oh, I always hate opening little bits. Trying not to make any mess with them, because I always do. One, I'm going to have three as well. Let me know yeah, about the serving size on these. I have no idea what We're these things put are. a little bit of hot water in. Sorry okay. about that, guys. You kind of fell. <laughs> We're going to pop, pop the hot water in, and I'm going to put... Her face also looks extraordinarily thin here in comparison to the last shot. Some milk in. Damn. 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 Kill it. Kill it. Fuck it, dude. Dump it all out. The milk. I need to get the other one out for the Good party. lord, Becky. And then we're going to put it in the microwave for about, about a minute. 30 seconds. Give it a stir. And then another 30 seconds. Who on earth brought green milk? More milk? Red milk. Um, that's sugar. You guys, I found this top that I got last autumn. Love it. I'm going to Becky right. on the go. How are you all though today? I think I asked you that before. I'm fantastic, Becky. Losing it this morning. I hate how Becky makes her tea. I don't know if this is accurate for the UK, but for some reason, Becky just soaks her tea for like maybe at most. The, the, the longest I've ever seen her go was 15 seconds. Like she'll have the tea in there for 15 seconds. She'll kill it with, she'll kill it with milk and then she'll take the tea bag out in 15 seconds flat. And at that point, isn't it just watered flavored tea? Like it's not, you're not even drinking tea at that point. It's just milk and water. But I hope you're all okay. Yeah, this breakfast has just been one of my favorites right now. I was thinking about it at 2 a.m. this morning. <laughs> not gonna lie. Right, just a bit of that. Favorite teaspoon. And she just <laughs> takes it out. She watch. Like this. it just she just takes it right out. It's just easy like that. Got a few nice videos. I've got a video. At that point, it's just flavored water. That I want to do. But I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get the stuff I need to do it. So hopefully if I do, I'll bring you that today. But I've got other few videos planned today as that well. That spoon is meated, by the way. Oh. That is fine. Oh. You want to add how much? A dollop. Okay, of yeah, it's not too bad. And it is honestly amazing. It's not too bad. Look at that. We'll mix that all in in a minute. Yummy. Didn't even like blend it in or anything, huh? But let me know if you add any toppings to your wheat a bit. Don't even eat that shit. That's. Let me know if that's mm. good. Let me know if that's good They're down just below. That's so nice. There's something weird and about Becky I hope sometimes. That you're all okay. Her face is just, it doesn't make sense. Like, it's its just, its its it's got to be that filter, right? And if you've gone back to school, good luck. If you've gone back to college, good luck. Uni, good luck. Sixth form, anything like that. New job, anything. Big good luck to you. You're smashing life and remember that for the rest of this week and always that you are enough and you are amazing. Thank you, Becky. I appreciate it. Motivational speaking. Well, happy Wednesday. Thank you. you Thank you. Hi, everyone. Look at my loaded wet... Loaded... I can't get my finger the right way. Look at my loaded wedges, loaded nachos station. Never in my life have I ever seen somebody eat nachos and had fries. I never in my entire life have saw this. All right, Becky. Okay. So this She's just different. She's just different, dude. Things are just different for Becky, okay? I don't know if this is common in the UK. Is this what you guys call nachos? Just because it's got chips doesn't mean it's it's nachos. Tortilla chips or whatever these things are. Just because it's got that. By the way, are these tomatoes, like, not diced? You just gonna eat straight up slices of tomato? Me, we've got nachos, wedges. Where the cheese at? A few little toppings there. Uncooked cheese? Uncooked cheese, okay. Uh, and then some shredded chicken that's been in the slow cooker with some sauces. This was so easy to do as well. Bowl big as fuck. Good lord, Becky, that's a serving dish. So first of all, we're going to go for half wedges and half nachos. Why does everything need to have wedges? Why does everything need to have fries, dude? Every single meal this girl consumes has to have some form of potato in it. I don't know why she needs to have it so frequently, dude, but she loves, our girly loves the french fries, These dude. The here. potato famine starting with this girl. Huh? 
She's probably upset they're not chippy chips, mm -hmm. but she does like them crunchy, so they, they sound a little bit crunchy. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of the chicken, okay. a bit of the sauce on top of these. On top of the fries? That looks nice. She always manages to make, she always manages to fuck something up. I thought she liked fries that were crispy. Putting this particular type of food on, how is this nachos, by the way? How is this chicken in sauce? How is this nachos? Where is the nacho at? I, I'm not, I'm, am I, I'm failing to see it. Why are you, you're, you're drowning, you're drowning the potato wedges in, in, in chicken sauce. I haven't done shredded chicken for ages. Ooh. It's yum, wet. Yum. Is this just for you? That's just wet as fuck, Becky. Here we go. And then I'm gonna put some of the tortilla <laughs> yeah. chips. That's right, dude. Tortillas. Chips. Oh, with your hands though. You don't have anything else to pick them up. This is just for her, so I guess Becky, it doesn't matter. Pop them. That side profile kind of crazy. Pop them here. You can't Picking really them right up with her hands. Like, and my nice serving dish is big as hell, Becky. Big, bro. Damn, go. Becky. Calm down. She yummy. I'm going to add some tomatoes. Where the cheese at? Where the melted that. cheese? Everybody know one of the main ingredients for nachos is melted cheese. If there's no melted cheese on this shit, it's not nachos. This is just chips and chicken and potatoes. Okay. And then random slices of tomato. Super Whole simple, ass slices of tomato. Super, yep, like, that's quick fucking diabolical. Out. What do you mean I'm quick to dish out? Cheese on everywhere. Uncooked cheese. You're just coating. You're just gonna coat the tomatoes with uncooked cheese. You're gonna have soggy ass potatoes, soggy ass chicken, ch dried up cheese, no, not cooked at all, on top of tomato slices, and you call this nachos this is why they give white people a bad name dude i promise this is not a reflection of what we actually do nachos on hot so it's not gonna melt on the nachos so i don't mind it you just want you you don't want it to melt what is the purpose though you're just putting cheese on top of everything and you got isn't this the same girl that said she doesn't like cheese too like i swear i've heard her say this multiple times where she's eating pizza she's like I don't actually like cheese. I don't I don't like it. And then here we go seeing her like coating her shit with cheese. Uncooked cheese too, by, by the way. Which isn't that bad. Like if you take it out of the thing and you just like drown your mouth with it. But on top of food and it's nachos at that, it makes zero it's sense. Cream. Oh no, I'm going to do the cream first. Let's have a cream. Okay. But what has everyone else got tonight? Let me know in the comments. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Oh my god, Becky! Salsa. I'm not the biggest fan. Big ass fucking just slops on top? Salsa. Looks what are we doing? Either. Scallions too? Random pieces of scallion? And you can leave this out as now well. Now I okay, I know why she goes out to get food. Like, it seems like she doesn't really know what she's doing here. I mean, you know, we all try, sometimes we fail. But this is, this is unbelievable. You couldn't look up a recipe. You couldn't find like a Latino man on YouTube that had a recipe. And you couldn't have copied that. What are we doing with this shit? It's just, you just threw random, random things on top of, in a bowl. A, a serving bowl. And you called it nachos. The entire bottom layer of this is just french fries. Well, that will stay Wet warm french fries. Simple, if you put it on warm. If you don't want your wedges, um, you can just pop them back in the air fryer. Mmm, but look at that. Let me show you closer. I. Big as fuck, dude. Jesus, Becky, man. It's just solid slices. Man, I can't believe this sour cream, dude. This shit's not even spread out or anything like that. It's just it's just slopped down on the top. Two big ass servings of it, too. I'm loving it. Love it. I feel like this is going to be such a winner of a tea. <sighs> it smells amazing, too. Ooh. She just farted. Potatoes, dude. Uncooked cheese. Mm. The neckline on that, 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 that shit is yellow. You got the yellow neckline, dude. You think it's from the sweat of the neck or you think she's using it as like a, I don't know, bro, whatever, man. Perfect for like 
little parties as well or what do you mean for parties if i went over to like a nacho party and they were serving this i'm leaving that's not a nacho party you just threw random shit on top of food and then you thought it was nachos you know, like girly nights or girly nights girly nights you're eating this shit at girly nights what the hell is a girly night whatever night so good so much sour cream mm. but let me know what you've all got i hope you've all had a great day i love you all love you too becky i really love you man uh stuff what diabolicalness was that oh my god becky gotta calm down with that shit how was that nacho somebody gotta let me know down below if that was nachos for the uk is that accurate is that normal somebody let me know anyway guys that's the end of the video i hope everybody enjoyed today's video if you did i'd appreciate for everybody to leave a like comment subscribe sharing the video all those things i'd appreciate tremendously helps me grow in the algorithm algorithm um if you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now Leave it down below by typing in toothpick because I bought a lot of them. I can't be without toothpicks. I always floss. I can. I, I have to. I don't like having stuff in between my teeth. It feels terrible. Uh, maybe you guys don't feel the same way. I know some people that just don't floss at all, which is also not good. But flossing is pretty optimal. And I like to look at it as like uh, like my like the, 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 the little string is like a stripper pole and my teeth are the butt cheeks. You know what I'm talking about? You ever see strippers when they like... They, they kind of weave their butt cheeks in between the stripper pole and they kind of floss with it. I'm doing that with my teeth. But uh, anyway, you're a beautiful person. You're an amazing person. You smell really great today. I love the way you exist. So, so tranquility. It's so beautiful. It's so amazing the way you're able to navigate the world so accurately and have so many amazing, good, fun times. And I love that about you. I love that you're able to have a good time. But I also love that you're willing to buckle down and do what's right. And that's really amazing. It takes a big person, metaphorically speaking, um, to become a uh, beautiful person such as yourself. So I appreciate the work you do every single day. Anyway, um, if you want to check my social medias, it will be linked down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. 